Hello and welcome to this first tutorial of the SNL Engine 2.0. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a new world where you can run around in using the default SNL Engine assets. In the next video I'll, I'll show you how to import your own stuff and use that instead. But for now, just using default assets. Now if you've downloaded and installed SNL, you'll end up with a folder structure like this. Before doing anything else, you'll also want to get Visual Studio, which you can get the free version of which is the Express Edition, uh, to be able to compile and run your projects. There will be a download link in the description, and you'll want to get Visual Studio C++ Express Edition. You can just download this, install it anywhere you like, and after doing that, you can launch up the SNFL engine. Now, when you launch it, you'll end up with a page like this, but without these extra projects. You have the tutorials folder, which is very useful to look up stuff, have examples of how things are done in the SNFL engine and so on. At the top, you see the path uh, where your projects will be stored. And on the right side, you see uh, some information for uh, collaborative editing, if you want to work with multiple people on the same project. For now, this isn't important. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the tutorials folder. It's pretty important to know how this works. You have different content here, some example worlds, you have some video files, some sound files, and so on and so on. And then you have the applications, which is a whole lot of tutorials, which you can launch and see how the SNFL engine works. Before you can launch these, you'll want to go to Build, Show Options, and in the Paths folder, this will all be empty, and you can just do Auto Detect after you've installed Visual Studio. And then it will show up with Visual Studio 2010, and you can select that one. So, for example, the first basic app if you open this, it has one code file. If you just run this with F5 or pressing the build uh, key, it will show up with a very, very basic screen. So this is very useful to uh, dig in later. For now, we're just going to create a new world. So we're going back on the menu, project list, and we're going to create a new project here. Name it anything you like, and then press OK. Then we're going to open it. And you'll see that it's very, very empty. All it has is the SNL engine files, which is uh, not so useful for you right now. So we're just going to do uh, right-click, New World, World, and give it a name. I like to get the spaces out. Then these two... Uh, options for you are if you either want to go for a detailed world or a non-detailed world, if you want to go for a high view range or a low view range. Uh, if, you, if you would lower this, you would get more detail close by, but it will also be more performant if you want to go very big and would look probably less good on far, far range. So I would just like to leave this on default. And then this is extra detail you want to add in. More is more detailed, lower is less detailed. Again, I'll just leave this on default and press OK. Now, folder structure is important, especially if you end up with more and more files, which you will. So just right click, new folder. I'll just start with a main folder called content. Right click the folder, new folder. Just call this worlds and then just drag the world file you just created in there. Now you can quickly collapse this. So double click the world and you'll see a pretty empty world. So what you would want to do is create new world tiles, which, what, which is what you would be running around on by clicking terrain at the top. Before you can place these though, you need to have a standard material that you apply to it. And we don't have any materials yet. So you would create one yourself, but for now we're just going to copy it over from, from the tutorials project. So we're just going to click on the menu, M button, go back to the project list, open up the tutorials folder, 
And while we're here, we're going to copy a number of files over right away, which we will also use later on. So open up the images, open up the materials, and open up the objects. What we will want to copy is for first the grass. Just click it, then hold Control and click the sun under images. We're also going to copy over the warrior as our character, which will need animations. So also select the animations folder, and then select the OBJ character and the draw group. With these selected, go to the bottom M and click Copy Selected Elements. This will allow you to copy elements between different projects. So with all these, we just click the project we created and click Copy. Now we can go back to the project list, open up the project we made, and before doing anything, we're going to nicely put this into folders. So in Contents, right-click, New Folder, call this Objects, and drag in the animations, and the uh, draw group, OBJ character, and the warrior. Just close this. Content, right click, new folder, we call this materials, drag in the grass. Content, new folder, uh, textures or images, whatever you like, and drag in the sun. Now the difference between a texture and a material is that a material consists of one or more textures or just colors with effects applied to them. A texture is just one single image. Uh, so now we can open up the world and we can start to add more tiles. So to actually add new terrain tiles we have to add a default material to this box here which will be the default material applied to all the tiles we place. So just click and drag the grass material into the box. Now you can click the delete and add button and then just right click to place terrain tiles. Now the you'll probably have something more like this which means that you can't place terrain tiles outside of this box. This box is not the end of your world it just it's just everything outside of this box will not be drawn to the screen it's not being rendered but it's still there so if you hold space and then drag it uh, then move your mouse you will move around in the scene. Everything outside of the box is still there, it's just not being shown. So to make it easier, you can increase the visible, visible radius a bit, which allows you to see more of your world, but it will, it will slow, down your, slow down your computer a bit more. So now you can place more tiles or increase the radius here and place more tiles at the same time. So now that we have this, we would want to place a character in our scene so that we can run around. So we're going to go to our Objects folder and just drag the warrior into the scene. He's very small, so we're just going to zoom in. Well, it's more that our world is very big, so just hold space. Now before we can select him, we go into the Object mode. And we have him selected already because we just placed him in. And then you can press this button here to center on the selected object. Or use the shortcut Control tilde which is the key below Escape. So now we can just rotate around them, zoom in, and so on. Now before we can run around, because if you now press uh, the build or the play button, we have no application selected, which means you need to have a code file which links to this world so that you can run around on it. So we're going to right click, create a new application. I'll we'll just call this tutorials. The name doesn't really matter. And normally you would write this all yourself, but we're going to just copy over from the tutorials project just so we can run around. So we're going back to the project list, open up the tutorials, and then we're going to go into applications, 14 game basics, and we'll copy over the camera modes. So just click on main, menu, copy and we'll copy it over to the project we made. So go back to the project list, open the project, and drag it into the application folder. So now that you open this by just clicking on it, scroll down, you don't need to know what all this does, you just need to replace one thing, 
which is the world that it loads, which is in the init function. You'll see new and then the ID value. You can remove this value because it links to a different world that is from the tutorials folder. Just delete it so you end up with the two parentheses and then just drag the world in between the parentheses and it will show you which world it will load. So now if you press the build and play, it will open up the world with our character and we can run around. And as you can see, the environment is, it's, it's wrong. It's just not as it's in the editor. So we're just going to press escape, open up the world. And this is the environment that we want to have. So just right click the world, new environment and call it world underscore one underscore environment, anything you like, enter and just drag it into your scene. By dragging it into your world, it's linked to this world. So if you load it now, if you press F5, well, not F5 in here, but if you press the build, it will be using this, this environment option. So if anything you change in here, double click, anything you change here will also change in the world that you build and play. So why don't we have light? Why don't we have shadow? That's because there is no sun image. So just open up the sun image and you see that it's empty. So what we're going to do is just get the sun texture and drag it in. And now it automatically updates. We have our sun, we have proper shadows. If you now run it, it's just as we want it to be. You can press tab to change the camera. Now you can also, if you add fog, if you would remove the sky, it would show up as well. It would show up as well. Everything you change here changes in the game. So we're going to put the sun, uh, the sky back, get rid of the fog, and you can just middle mouse click to close this. Um, so the last thing we're going to change to end this tutorial is increase the view range. As you can see, we couldn't see very far in the game. So just open up the main, go to the init pre, where are you? Init pre function. And the view range is in meters. So just put it on, I don't know, something you like. 500 meters, half a kilometer. And just press F5 again. And there you go. You have your world, you can run around, you have your character, and you can start editing. In the next video, I'll show you how to apply materials to the terrain, how you can sculpt the terrain, and in an even later video, I'll show you how to import your own assets, keep a good folder structure, and so on and so on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you for watching.